Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank you for being here today in this video for Measure Faith Worship Center USA. As we uh, bring the word to you today, uh, it's going to be a good word, but it's going to try to keep it short <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, things do get <laughs> long <laughs> when you want to cover so much, you know, because just like this past year, the, the great things that has been has happened and stuff by, for the church. You know, I know some bad things have happened for people in the world and, and, and for church people as well with the coronavirus and all that other stuff that's tried to try to raise his head, old devil tried to raise his old head up last year and, and brought uh, a lot of hurt to a lot of people. But God is here to bring us hope today and that's what this message was, is, a, is, is a point is for today is, 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 is to establish a hope in you and that hope is God and that hope is His Son. And his redemption, his salvation, those things he give us. And you know, last week we went through about where our where your truth was, and our truth and our trust is in, is in Christ. You know, we can trust him because what he says is true. We can trust him because he said it, and it, you can you can uh, uh, bet the farm on it, like they said, you know, and stuff. But you know, it's uh, uh, we're gonna give some word and then we'll give a little salvation prayer at the end. If you don't know God and don't know Christ as your, as your personal Savior, you, you, will, you can know Him today. And that's what it's about. And, uh, you know, and, and measure of faith is, like I said, I, you know, I give recognition to, to, to uh, uh, Pastor uh, Babu Megapu of India because he built a nice church above his home and stuff. They're able to do that over there and he built a nice church above his home and it's Measure Faith India and we're co-partners with him and, 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 and his endeavors over there as he, as he uh, helps his nation to know more about Jesus. You know, even he, he launched his, his church in the 2nd of December and he's already, he's got masses of people coming to his church and, you know, he's a fourth and fifth generation pastor, you know, his father, his, mother, his, his, his brothers his, and his, his sister, his sister-in-law, his, his uncles, everyone's in the ministry, you know, because that's how those people have a hunger and desire for God, and we should have that same hunger and desire as well for God, and if you don't, you can, if you get that zeal for God today in your heart, in your spirit, because he says he stands there knocking if you just let him in, and that's what it's about this the day, the, the word for the day, and the message, the sermon is about let me in Jesus' word. More, where more faith and grace abides. Let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abides. And that's what we're going to uh, be going through the message today and stuff. And like I said, uh, that's a great friend and, and brother in Christ. And I'm gonna uh, hook a TV up, monitor up here the next week. Hopefully that we'll be able to. Uh, as well, he can greet the church and greet you, and you'll have more understanding of, of, of the great things that he's doing over there. And if you want to help him and get in, uh, uh, give him a donation of any kind, I don't ask for any donations for myself, but you want to help him and the great things he's doing over here in his in his country and for other nations. He prays for other nations as well. He's he's fr Facebook friends with lots of people in other nations. And they and they respect him a lot, and, and 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 respect the things that he's doing in the body of Christ, and that's about what we're here to do: help build up the body of Christ. His Measure Faith Worship Center is we're helping to to lead nations to Christ, and that's what he does and stuff. And, uh, and like I said, he'll, I have a little video going so you can he can greet you and, and greet the church. And I put these here on Facebook. I put it on on, on uh, Timothy uh, uh, Lovett at, at Facebook or Pastor Timothy Lovett. And it's L O V E T T Timothy T I M O O T H Y <laughs> and, and, and or either Measure Faith Worship Center. Measure Faith Worship Center Facebook and Measure Faith Worship Center playlist on YouTube, and you can find me at, at Pastor Timothy uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at twenty five gmail dot com as well and stuff, and and also for Timothy at, 
lov619 at yahoo.com. And you can send me a comments, but just don't send me spam. <laughs> just send me something good, you know, that I can share. Because that's what I'm here to do about sharing the things of God, sharing the Word of God, sharing what God has done for me and what God can do for you. Because if you, because this is a new year, and just like Pastor's a new video he just did about a new way, you know, because you've been going a wrong, down the wrong way, and, and maybe last year you went the wrong way, but now you can go the new way, and the new way is is is, is, is uh, let and. Asking Christ, let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abides. And that's what it's about today. Find, let, asking Jesus into your heart, Jesus into your life, let him into your life and stuff. And your new life that can be in this new 21, 2021, can be a new life for you. And, and have the newness of life, if you're already a Christian, the newness of life. You may be saved, but you're not walking in the things of God and the abundance that God wants to have for you and wants to give to you. And you can do that today. And I've got a lot of light on me. So, so if I look down a little bit, that's got the light. I have a 10,000 watt light. And that's what God, he's that luminous light that, that, that can glow in your life. And that can be a part of your life. And that others will see it and says, all men are drawn unto, uh, unto him and stuff. And, and that's like I said, it's about in, uh, let me in Jesus where more faith and grace abides. And that's what it's about today. And, and that's what we're going to go through some scriptures and, and, and give it a layout of the scriptures. But you need to have a Bible. I always go over this. I don't try to get repetitions in what I'm doing. But I want to get you a Bible. If you haven't got a Bible, get a Bible app. Get one of these here little things that, that, that you've been able to get a hold of. Get one of these things here, but, but uh, use it for the glory of God. And put put your Bible out and go to Google Play Store and get your uh, 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 BibleGateway.com. is is a nice Bible app on there. I use them and, and, and converse with other pastors and preachers in other countries with that same app and stuff. And Because and, and, you need a good Bible so you can be able to follow along in the Word and allow the Word to grow in you and, and to be a, 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 an instrument for God to use. And you can get Bibles. You can get Bibles at, 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 at right now and everywhere because of the uh, New Year's and, 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 and Christmas they have Got Buku Bibles at Walmart. I, I worked for Walmart for twenty plus years, and they have Bibles. They have you have they have a, they call it Bible Nook, and you can go to that Bible Nook and find find Bibles. It's usually by the electronics areas, and you can uh, like I say, the Dollar Generals have Bibles, Family Dollars. You know, uh, you can if you got Kmart's in your area, you can go to Kmart's, Coles, all these other stores, and they they, they usually all have Bibles. And stuff, and, and or you can go to ChristianBook.com. This nice little uh, catalog, and they have all kinds of different Bibles with, from grown-ups to to children, and 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 stuff for children. Great resources in there. I always tell everybody about them because I've got a, quite a few things from there. They're great, you know, where the Bible stores and the bookstores have pretty much like diminished in the, over the years. They, the, 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 they, they've been pushed out and stuff. They used to be in the malls and then they were pushed out out into the out uh, uh, to putting up buildings everywhere. But then they are. Uh, They've kind of windowed down and so, but you can go to online and get anything you want. You can go to Amazon and get anything you want. If you want it bad enough, and just like the things of God, to just say, let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abides. And that's what it's about today, finding, finding more faith and grace. Because when we find, find faith in, 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 by walking and trusting in God, then we're going to find more grace. More grace is going to abound. Because it says that all things are bound in God's grace. And so we have to know that He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. And that's what we're going to, uh, like I said. And those are just a few resources. I try to go over that real quick. You know, sometimes I might need to put that at the end. Cause the, so I cover the whole message and stuff. But you need to be able to have a Bible. And because and we, you know, uh, the you know, the old people used to, a long time ago, used to say we're Bible thumpers. You know, because people have seen you with your Bible. And a lot of people, you don't see them with their Bible no more. But because they have the, the new te the technology where they can just have a Bible app. Or put it on a, a, a tab, a Bible tab. You know, a, 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 a iPhone. iPhones have everything on them, <laughs> you know, and stuff. But, but God bless and we.
we just want you to be able to have the resources to do the things God wants you to do. Because that's what this new year is about. You know, we can't keep our mind on the old things and the old and the past and you know and uh, you know about when the stimulus is gonna be here. <laughs> you know, don't worry about the stimulus. Let God be your provision, let God be your 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 help and your and your and your your burden remover and the one that brings you the breakthroughs in your life because I will be praying for that as well. There'll be great breakthroughs in your life so that you can do the works of God and do things God called you to do even before the foundation of the world and stuff. And and He He called us out uh, to be to uh, be uh, to do the greater works that and and the, until He He returns and comes again for us and receives us unto Him and stuff and. And and uh, uh, other ministers, uh, friends of mine as well, Pastor uh, 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 Willie Burke of Hope for the Lost Ministries, about finding that one, going out, leaving the 99, and going out and finding that one. And that's what I, that's what some, sometimes we get that you know we are that one. I was it. I was that one that someone helped me and lead, led me to where, a place where I could find salvation at a, at, a, at, a, at an altar somewhere. And you might be that one that leads another to an altar. And that's why I tell you about Major Faith Worship Center India. He's leading, even though it's just on fire over there with him. He's leading many. He had he's already had baptisms and foot washings and <laughs> he did the, he's doing the works of God is what I'm trying to relate to you through these points and stuff and he and you can be the one that's still out here doing the greater works as well but you got to be equipped you can't go out and fight a battle with with, with the toothbrush <laughs> or, or 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 reed uh, but or, or stick you need a you need a good sword and that's what the spirit of the spirit of the Lord is a good sword that, that cuts even to the very very asunder of the bone and the marrow and stuff and that's what you need a good you could good sword and that's what your Bible is a good sword and 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 have on the shield of faith all the full equipment that God that God speaks of in Ephesians and you can go on Go in there and, and, and read about the, putting on the whole armor of God and stuff. We need to have that whole armor on. And, and then we need to know that we got to uh, say, Jesus, let me in where faith and grace abides. You know, it's a, it's a sound like a plead, and it is a plead for you today to do this. Open up your heart today. Open up your minds and your spirit. Allow your spirit to hear that what what God is saying today through this word and through this through this uh, uh, vessel here and this and, and as we go into this word and stuff and uh, and allow it to be a, a, a life changer for you. It can be a life changer if you allow it to be a life changer and a life changer maybe what you need and it may be what what someone else needs that you know. And if you you be able to help and disciple others, and be able to help and disciple uh, those that uh, into the kingdom, and and God will reward you uh, for those things, as as, he, as He's rewarded you with His salvation. If you know Him today, and He and like I said, we're gonna give a salvation's prayer at the end, so that if you don't know Him, you can know Him. And stuff. And so we're gonna start off by going into to the to the Word here. Like I said, um, uh, be expectancy. That's why I tell Pastor Megapoo all the time, be in expectancy. This is a new year. We can be in expectancy. Great things. We ain't got to always dwell on the bad things. They're going to be bad things. <laughs> and that's why I tell, say all the time, there will be bad things, but there will be good things. And we can dwell on those good things. And we can manifest those good things by believing in faith. And believing in faith that, and grace that comes through abiding in Christ. And that's what it's about. Let me in Jesus where more faith and grace abides. And that's what we want to be in the shelter of the arms of the of the most high God. And that's what it's about today. Getting in that the in that and that those loving arms of his and allow him to uh, uh, be with you and care for you and walk with you, casting your cares upon him, because his burden is his, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And that's what we want to go with him, go with that today. And so we're going to start off here, and we're going to go over and 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 see. And you just take your nice Bible, and you can get you some, make you some tabs. I make my own tabs, but you can buy tabs. You can buy tabs at bookstores and through this stuff here, and through these resources, you can get you some tabs and tab you out a book. You can take a piece of paper like I did, uh, some uh, cardstock, and cut it up and make you some tabs. You can uh, get you a, a, a one of those uh, race uh, those. 
the highlighters and highlight your Bible. Or you can get a rainbow Bible that's already highlighted for you and gives you the, the different uh, uh, themes and, th and theme out your Bible so you can go to a quick access. So, but you need to get this word in you more than, than just having the Bible itself is get this word in you. So like me, when I when you say it, you, it can come out of you like living water, it says, bubbling out of you, giving you like that full bottle of water where it can fill up and overflow out into this darkened world, this hurting world of maybe someone, your, lo your loved ones, someone in, one, in your relationships. You want to bring more stability to your, to your relationship Allow God to be in it, and allow God to, to help you to walk in a, a better relationship with Him through His Holy Spirit. And that's what we usher in and, and, and welcome always, the Holy Spirit. Be with us today, Holy Spirit. Guide us and guide those that are, that, that's here today, that, that's coming through by seeing this video, watching it. Give them the understanding they need. Give them all that they need of, and, 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 and so that they can also walk and the grace and faith that God can can give us in that way we can abide in Him. And then we're going to, like I said, go over and we're going to uh, go over to 1 Timothy 1 and 1. We're going to go, if you go back into the, to the New Testament, go back into the letters of Paul, past the apostles and the, and, and the four gospels. You go past Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and then, the, and then go back into the, to the letters that uh, they they wrote to the he wrote uh, Paul wrote to the churches and here's a letter he wrote to Timothy and we're going to go to first first Timothy and we're going to go to the first verse and it says Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the commandment of God our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ which is our hope and that's what it's about Jesus being our hope today and it says uh, and our Lord Jesus Christ which is our hope and our Savior. And He can be your Savior today. And that's what is our hope is in Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's what we want to have. We, we want to establish our, uh, the know, the, know that hope. We got to walk, to walk in that hope. We got to know that hope. We got to know it and experience it and, and treasure it. And just like you treasure, your, your, you might treasure your vehicle. You might treasure your home. You might treasure your family. Those, those, those are the, uh, the good, but you can't put all your trust in those, and that's what was last week was all about. Where is your truth and where is your trust and stuff, and that's what, you know, we've got to put our trust in God. You know, those things can, can go away. Family can go away. <laughs> I know I've lost two last year. I lost my, my uh, great aunt, aunt and my aunt, uh, uh, a great uncle. And stuff, and an uncle and stuff, and, and you know, and I know others had met, lost others, and they didn't. I, I didn't lose them to coronavirus. They just uh, had got uh, old, elderly, and and uh, things happened to them and stuff. But we all stand before God. It says it wants unto a man to to die, and then the judgment. So we stand before God, and and and, uh, and, and, and that's more into the scripture here and stuff. But but we also uh, that was First Timothy. Uh, one and one, which we established, Christ is our hope. Christ is our salvation. And it says, let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abides. And then we're going to go over to Titus, which is the next book after Timothy. First Timothy and then Second Timothy. There was the two letters there. And then the letter Paul wrote to Titus. And in, in Titus, we're going to go to the uh, second chapter of Titus. And we're going to read a couple, a couple of verses out of it. And we're going to start at verse uh, 11. And verse 11 of Second Titus chapter 2, verse 11 says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have a prepared, appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, in other words, sin and unrighteousness, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in, in this present world. For this world is going to have the, those things in it. Those things are not going away. Lust is not going away. Uh, you, can pray, you can pray and pray, but there'll be, there'll be new lust for a new day. <laughs> there'll be ungodliness for a new day. There'll be unrighteousness for a new day. And, so, and then verse 13 says, Looking for the blessed hope. 
That's what we're about to hear. The blessed hope. Jesus is our blessed hope. And it says, For the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God in our Savior, Jesus Christ, for who gave himself for us that we he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. In other words, we walk in the good works of God. Those are zealous works, honorable works, gracious works. For let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abides so we can do those things. You can't do them without God, without being in Christ. You can't be, it's not you being in you. You've got to be out of you. Spiritually, we've got to be walking with Christ and and, allow, and walking in His Spirit and you know, un, in union and, and unity with His Spirit as we all are one. It says that one head, but, uh, one body, many members. And that's what we're, we're uh, in unity with, with Measure Faith Worship Center in India. And we, we work together and we're co-partners in, in, in the kingdom work that needs to be done. And that's what it's about, uh, being able to uh, walk in that blessed hope. He's the blessed hope. There's, you can't put your hope in that car that I was talking about earlier, or that, that home, because a storm can come and says, take that home away from you. You know, that you can get out there and, that, you know, that car, it, 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 it depreciates it not only in value, but it also it starts rusting. You know, you don't, start, you don't stop rust. Rust finds everything. You know, it, it either rusts or corrodes or just, just, dis, just, just goes away. <laughs> so those things that happen. But we can know that God, through, it said, put it, put your, tre, lay up your treasures in heaven where the moth and the canker worm and, and corruption cannot get a hold of. You know, that's what we, we want to do and, and stuff. And just like I tell you, giving a, giving a donation to, to Measure Pay uh, Worship Center India, you can do that by going to, to, to uh, Western Union. He, that's the best method I've found so far to, to help him is you can do that and, and, and just put... Uh, 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 babu, uh, mega poo, babu, or mo, uh, uh, and that's what uh, uh, mega poo, m a g a p u, b a b u. That's his name, babu. But but his, his last name is mega poo. But you can put that down as a Western Union, and he 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 knows how to get those those offerings and those 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 charitable works. And that's to do the greater works of God, and, you know, and, and stuff. And you know, I, and he he also trusts God. And I'm not saying that he don't trust God. He trusts God for everything. And God's doing great things for His church. And if you want to be part of something good, that's what it's about. Being with His Word, we can be part of something good. You want to be part of something good. You want to be in a job that's a bad job, or a corrupt job, or a job where 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 it's just you know uh, you do 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 and don't get no no recognition, or you get or or, or where you somewhere where where you is more than you you can handle, you know, and stuff, you know. But we're we'll gonna also go over here to we're gonna uh, go to the Book of Acts. And we're going to go to Acts 24. And we'll go back. We was back in the... And we're going to go back the other way. And Acts is, 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 is right after, you, after, after John and stuff. And you go back to Acts. And this here was... A, talks of, this is where it was talking to the church and stuff. And we're going to... You know, the book of Acts is a, what the Acts of the Apostles. And that's what we're going to go back to the book of Acts, the twenty-fourth chapter, and we're going to we're, uh, we're going to read uh, at starting at, at verse fourteen of, uh, of Acts, the twenty-fourth chapter, and it says, verse fourteen. But this I confess unto thee that after the way which they uh, call heresy, so I worship, and I and I the the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written. And the law and in the prophets, because because they, they, they were.
was trying to trying to trap Paul because they saying that he wasn't he because he was preaching the resurrection and the Jews did not believe the re, about in the resurrection even though Christ had resurrected they've heard of the resurrection but they didn't know that he had started preaching resurrection and they wasn't they wasn't used to that kind of preaching <laughs> you might not be used to this kind of preaching you might want me to shout and run and jump out the window but that that ain't always how God teaches us and brings us into uh, to to understand him and to understand it and, and to receive him for he says let me in where Jesus says let me in where more faith and, uh, and, and grace can abide because our faith and grace abides in him and stuff and that and so when we preach Jesus or we preach his resurrection or we preach it and preach it, uh, uh, his, his, his goodness and his grace and his mercy people will listen because people are looking for those things. Those are the most treasured things on this earth. It's His grace and His mercy. And His and, 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 and if you find those things and, and stuff, you find true treasure. And true. And if you can uh, share those things, you share in the great treasures of heaven. And that's what it's about, sharing the great things of God. And His, cause his, 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 his kingdom, His kingdom, is, it says... Uh, and his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's great things going on in heaven, and he wants those great things. He wants you to have heaven here on earth, but you got to have. Uh, you got to let him in, so, or or be in him. Let me in, Jesus, where more faith and grace abide. But you say, well, he's way up in heaven, but he can be with you. But spiritually, there's no division, the uh, dividing line, and you know and, and and the things that God wants to give you and you know the, you know you can have God here on earth with you in you by you abiding in him and his word this word he was the word made flesh and so you now he's left us the word and the holy spirit to allow us to, to, uh, to uh, lead us and to guide us and to bring us up in the things of God so that when we when he does return we will be spiritually we'll be united with him and, and the natural as well. But, but the natural bodies will go back to the ground where we'll be put on a, a new body, a new, a, a, a new person, which is a, a spirit. We're talking just about the spirit today and stuff. Like I said, uh, that was verse 14, and it says, and I have, verse 15 says, and I have hope towards God, which they themselves also allow that that there should be a, a resurrection of the dead both of the just and the unjust that's what I wanted to test uh, preach on right there for a minute about there because we got to know that there's hope for the just and the unjust there's hope for the just for the just those that are justified through the righteousness of Christ and through his resurrection and we'll stand before God and he'll say enter in you, my, my faithful servant in whom I'm well pleased like he did his son after the baptism of John in the, in the river Jordan or he's got there's a there's a there's, but that same hope can be for the for the unjust if he'll only receive Christ now before he can stand before God where he'll stand in God in judgment, and when he stands in that judgment, he's, God's going to say, I knew you not, you work of iniquity, depart from me, and he's made a place for the, for the unjust, and that place for the unjust, is, it, it will be their hope, it won't be, the, it, it won't be what they're wanting, because it will be, a, 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 the, it says, the wailing and the gnashing of teeth, and, 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 and uh, it'll be not the glorious things that they would receive if they would only receive Christ now in this life. You can't wait to receive him in the next life. There's no reincarnation. You're not going to be a little butterfly. <laughs> you can get those little thoughts out your head. You're not going to be a caterpillar or a butterfly. You're not going to be a little sweet little bird sitting on a limb somewhere twerping and singing all day long. It's not going to, it don't work like that. God, God wants you to open up your mind and spirit right now and know that there he is a, he is a just